Welcome back strangers. Do you remember Batboy from the cover of Weekly World News? I remember being so confused as a kid when I would see him on the cover of newsstands while I was standing in line at the grocery store checkout. I didn't know if he was real or fake. If he was fake, why does magazine keep saying he was real? Why would people lie about things before the internet? The Weekly World News was a largely fictional news tabloid that was published from 1979 to 2007. It was known for its strange stories based on the paranormal and Batboy was their star. It was described as a half-human, half-bat creature that was being pursued by government officials and scientists after he would constantly escape and be recaptured. He debuted as a cover story on June 23, 1992, with a picture of his grotesque screaming face on the cover. It quickly became the second best selling issue in the tabloid's history and he quickly became a paranormal pop culture icon in the 90s. The story of Batboy was even adapted into an off-Broadway musical play. The Weekly World News claimed that Batboy was discovered by Dr. Ron Dillon living in a cave in West Virginia in 1992. At the time, he was only 2 feet tall and weighed 19 pounds. It is believed he was born around 1982 and he's either 36 or 37 years old. And apparently he has wings that he sheds and regenerates every 3 years. Batboy isn't some one of a kind mutant. He is a descendant of a race of creatures that have remained in hiding from humanity for at least 400 years. He isn't some freak, but comes from a family of these humanoid bat creatures. He has at least one sister named Ruth. Batboy's complete family tree was found written on a manuscript in the cave he was discovered in. Alleged carbon dating of this chart revealed it to be hundreds of years old and made of animal skin. Some claim Batboy was actually first discovered in the Ozark Mountains when he was saved from being trapped by a falling rock. Others believe it was the Hellhole Cave in Pendleton, West Virginia, or the Lost World Caverns in Greenbrier County, West Virginia. Batboy is allegedly still out and about, freely traveling around America and enjoying life as a free American citizen. What would you do if you encountered Batboy? The character of Batboy was supposedly created by former Weekly World News editor Dick Culpa and writer Bob Lind. The Weekly World News fabricated news stories before all the cool kids were writing fake news stories and sharing them around the internet. The tabloid ended in 2011 but was relaunched by Batboy LLC as an online publication focusing on all things strange and paranormal that may or may not be real. Besides Batboy, the Weekly World News frequently reports on aliens, merfolk, cryptids, Elvis, and other dead celebrity sightings. Some of their questionably true and most likely fake news stories have caused some real mass panic when real news outlets pick them up and share their articles. Like when the tabloid reported that the Los Angeles Police Department was spending $1 billion on 10,000 jetpacks for its officers. Their articles in 2011 and 2012 about Facebook shutting down caused parents and grandparents to share the fake news story all around the website, causing Facebook to even have to make an official statement saying, the answer is no, so please help us put an end to the silliness. We didn't get the memo about shutting down. There's lots to do, so we'll keep cranking away as always. Strangers, do you remember Batboy in the old Weekly World News tabloids? Do you think any of their articles had any truth to them, or were they just old grocery store checkout clickbait before any of us had smartphones and Facebook to share these questionably true articles online? Let us know in the comments below, like this video, subscribe to our channel if you want to see more strange videos like this one. Smash this bell button so you never miss out, and as always, stay strange.